Step number one, write a prompt. Step number two, ask six chatbots at once. If you're not satisfied with the answers ChatGPT gives you, you can now chat with all of them at once. It's extremely easy to use, gives more and better responses, so you can get work done faster. You don't need any technical experience, any coding knowledge, or a big investment. Since this video is in partnership with chathub.gg, I'm going to show you how to use it step by step even if you never tried it before. So first I'm gonna go to chathub.gg. Here you can see you can use ChatGPT, Bing, Bard, Claude, and more chatbots simultaneously. There are actually a lot more that you can add, even open source ones that I'll show you how to do right now. So I'm just gonna click on add to Chrome. You can see that it has a 4.7 star rating with over 100,000 users. Let's click on add to Chrome. So we're now on the inside and I wanna show you the unique features. First, as you can see, we have two chatbots, three, four, six, and then we actually have image capabilities. Now, if you click on six chatbots, for example, this is a premium plan. I'm gonna show you the pricing in a minute, but they were so kind to give me a paid account so I can show you how it works. Now, let's test the chatbots. So I might be able to do it or not. I'm just gonna write, how are you today? And we have six chatbots already selected. I'm gonna click on send. We might get an error here for the first time. So you can see allow, allow, and they're actually doing really well. Just like that, you can see all the answers being generated by all the different models. I feel like Bard and Bing is very similar, so let's actually exchange Bing for Grok, and I wanna actually test them on something that's a little difficult. So let's ask them how to test them. I'm gonna ask it, if you'd compare six AI chatbots against each other, what are five challenges with example questions that you would have them do? <laughs> Let's see if it can challenge itself. I'm just gonna click on allow again. And so Grok is not available in my country, unfortunately. So that one won't work. I'm actually a big fan of Mixtral. So we're gonna actually put Mixtral there as well as it's not as censored as many of the other ones. Okay. Let's check out the answers. It's very interesting to see their different personalities. For example, ChatGBT got right to understanding context and nuance with a example question right here. I like this answer quite a bit. Claude gave us a bullet point right away and they actually didn't give us an example of what to write. Yeah, so Claude actually didn't pass this test that well. When we go to Bard, you can see that it immediately gives a challenge and an example question, which I like this a lot better. One bullet point, two different subheadlines for each bullet. You can see perplexity here, having some context and then example question. Here we have integration. How can I integrate this chatbot with my website and some easy tests. I wish they were maybe a little bit longer. It seems like uh, this one is a little bit longer. And the final Llama 2 model understanding context. It's actually giving a big answer to every single bullet point here going deep into how they can be different. So I actually got a good one from Bard where he wants us to do poetry, but I'd actually like it to do a funny rap and see which one does best at that. The prompt is, can you write a one bar of funny rap that uses the template setup and punchline? Make it about why you should use many chatbots instead of one. If it can make this funny, then, I mean, we're saved. Okay, they're all started to write. Some of them started to write a little longer. Some just one bar. So let's check it out. Call me a chatbot collector, that's no lie. Cause relying on just one is like pizza with no pie. Okay, feeling like it's setting up for a really slam dunk in a minute. Not too bad. Let's check out Claude here. Got a question, need an answer. One shot bot might not have the dancer. Better stack them high by the dozen diverse skills leaving you buzzing. <laughs> I mean, it's not even bad. Let's check out Bard. Yo, one chatbot got you locked in a box. Same rhyme, same flow, ain't got no flex. But a posse of bots, that's where it's hot. Wit and wisdom like a verbal plot. I mean, I'm pretty impressed with all of this. 
Mixtral here. I used to have just one chatbot, but then I realized that's like trying to chop down a forest with a pocket knife time to level up and multiply not the best this one actually didn't do so well let's do perplexity they actually wrote the entire rap here almost yo listen up i got a story to tell about why you should use many chatbots where i'm about to dwell in this digital age we need assistance that's for sure so let me break it down and let me make it clear and then it's going very set this stage imagine a world super story based which Hey, it can be good sometimes, but yeah, the first bars could be better. Let's do Llama 2 here. I used to think that one chatbot was enough, but now I know that's just not the case. You see, one chatbot's like a superhero, but many chatbots are like the Avengers team. They'll save the day with their diverse skills and personalities. It's like a chatbot army, and trust me, you'll be the winner <laughs> thanks llama seems like some of them haven't really understand what rap or rhyming is or what joking is overall three of them did a really good job now i want to test more so let's change out actually maybe llama was my least favorite one so let's try gemini pro you can actually just change it here in the settings now you'll potentially get even better answers and it says gemini api key is missing so i'm actually gonna set that up because i'm very curious what will happen here i'm just gonna click on the settings and in the gemini pro i'm gonna click how to create api key and i actually did this before but i'm just gonna create a new one go back and paste it and save changes now we're gonna ask it the exact same thing i want to really test it on a different form of creativity i personally find chatbots very useful to find twists in stories the best storylines has a surprise and to come up with a surprise is sometimes really hard. So the prompt is a little long, but essentially I'm making a YouTube video about making a Chrome extension with ChatGPT without knowing how to code. I have the storyline fleshed out, but I'm looking for a little twist or surprise to the story. Can you give me three examples? Let's see if we can make the story even better. I'm just going to click on send. Look at how they're all writing. Bart is a little slow and then it pops out everything, but they're all giving some really, really good, actual nice story plot lines here. I asked for three. So let's see if we can get some twists or turns in this story to make it even better. So ChatGPT answered unexpected collaboration. I like that one a lot. AI exceeds expectations so that it actually gets really good improvements. Uh, that could be good. Viral impact after releasing your extension, it unexpectedly goes viral due to a unique feature. Okay, yeah, I don't know if I can plan that, but a pleasant surprise. Claude said, I tried to create an extension by having ChatGPT write all the code for me, but it refused and said it wouldn't write full working code. So I had to actually learn some basic coding myself to make it work. Okay, yeah, that's a little surprise twist. The extension ended up accidentally deleting all my browser data somehow, <laughs> leading to a panic moment before I was able to restore my information. Hey, that's actually some more drama, some more... It's not bad. And Claude is also optimistic, saying it surprisingly uh, got over 100,000 users in the first week. Yeah. I mean, that would be good, but really interesting. So Bart actually also said unexpected collaboration, same as ChatGPT. ChatGPT's hidden powers that it also, beyond simple code generation, so it is literally exactly the same as ChatGPT here. It also gives some more additional bullet points on what to do, but essentially the exact same answer as ChatGPT. Now, Mixtral says here, extension becomes popular. So that's pretty much the same twist. ChatGPT makes a mistake and you discover a security flaw. This is actually a unique idea that I didn't think about and that could be helpful. Perplexity as well, accidental success. So a lot of them said, yeah, you get successful. Unexpected collaborator also said that. Unforeseen challenge where I encounter a seemingly insurmountable obstacle that threatens to derail the entire project. Hey, that's actually pretty dramatic and awesome. Here you have Gemini Pro saying unexpected success, collaboration and community, 
serendipitous benefit where I discover an alternative application of your extension that proves to be highly valuable. This unexpected discovery opens up a new possibilities and markets for your extensions. Okay, Gemini, that's actually really cool. So you can see now why having all these different chatbots gives your brain a lot more to play with. But you might be wondering, are there some extra features that you can use? So if I go down to the bottom left, you can see I can click this image. And here we can actually add images to three different chatbots that are available right now. So I'm actually going to take a screenshot. So I found this image here of kind of like a math equation that has a kind of funny answer. I'll take a screenshot of the entire thing. And now I'm just gonna paste it directly in here and ask it, what's the answer? And as you can see, it's now starting to answer with ChatGPT, Bing and Bard. ChatGPT says it reads like a joke. I ate some pie and it was delicious. So it's saying here, imaginary I ate some pie pi, whereas Bing actually says it here is a mathematical symbol where he explains some pi, and that is a pun, clever play on words. So it actually also passed the test and yeah, Bart basically said the exact same thing, except it was the question, what's the answer? In the context of the meme, there is no real answer. The point is that the equation is not meant to be taken seriously. It's just a bit of fun. Thank you, Bard. They also have this additional feature that you can have a new prompt library. They have this other community prompts that I found very useful that is actually given by all these different creators to help you get better prompts. For example, you can use this essay writer. I'm just gonna click on use. And now you can see this prompt is all given here for you. So you can save a lot of time. You might be wondering how many chatbots do they actually have included that you can chat with? Well, actually, if you go all the way down to the settings, you can also find that you can use all of these like Vicuna, Falcon, Grok, Pi, Wizard LM, Chat GLM, iFlytech Spark, and three more. You can also select the different options you want ChatGPT to do. For example, we can pick GPT-4. You can have it in web app mode, API mode, Azure mode, Po mode, or open router mode. And you may see that to get access to Claude, you actually need to log in. And I'll show you that in a second. The same with Gemini Pro, you need to create a key. Bing, you get it immediately. Perplexity as well, you get it immediately. Before I save, I'm actually gonna apply Grok here and we're gonna save the changes. Now, you might be wondering, what is the actual price of the product? So you can see here that for a lifetime license, it only costs $35. You get all the layout in one mode. So I had six chatbots open simultaneously. When you are in the free plan, you can only do two. You also get web access where you improve accuracy by searching up-to-date information on the internet. There's only two of them available, ChatGPT and Claude 2 that you can actually do web access, but it works very much like inside of ChatGPT. You also get full text search for chat history, customized theme, quick access in the Chrome sidebar, compare with image inputs, activate up to five devices and support from the development of, and you actually support the development of Chat Hub. For a $35 license, you can use ChatGPT, which costs $20 to begin with. So within two months, you get your first savings. In addition to being able to chat with all the different chatbots instead of just one, giving you better answers and ideas, which is hard to put a price on. So if this is for you, click my link in the description down below. And when you get to the checkout page, just enter the discount code AIND, apply, and you will get a 10% off discount. So by now, you know everything you need to know about ChatHub. Thanks for watching the video. Click link in the description to get access to ChatHub now. And if you wanna watch more of my videos, click the video on the screen now, and I'll see you in the next one.